Hi everybody, welcome to this new video in the IC Hoft series. Today we will have a look at uh, a development version of the GUI client, version 3.0, and specifically at um, a new option that is um, temporarily associated with this pattern here. And uh, what this option does is to uh, dump the contents of track 18 along with the contents of the first sector of um, each file that's um, uh, listed in the default directory listing. This um, uh, dumping mode was suggested by Matt, um, who gets um, I thank you for that suggestion. And the reason somebody might want to do um, this is to get a quick preview of um, the contents of a disk um, without having to dump the whole disk and without having to cope with um, possibly faulty sectors and the alike. The first sector usually contains um, a basic uh, boot line with uh, a sys instruction. Uh, most of the time it does, at least. So let's see how this copes with um, one of the Derbyshire Rams um, disks I've got uh, I've got here. First thing, initialize the disk, and then as you can see, it's focusing on the 18th track first. And then it scans all the file entries in there and goes on, dumps the first sector sector for each um, entry. What I will change in future is to try and sort these um, sectors uh, uh, in ascending order so that the head doesn't have to travel uh, back and forth, or in this case, left and right. And. Uh, Let's call this one T18 only. That doesn't want utilities. And um, as you can see, a log file, which is quite comprehensive, has popped up here. Let's have a look at this one. So, yeah, the first thing that happened is um, track 18 was fully read, all of the sectors in there. And then, file by file, if it's a PRG, it figures out uh, which track um, and sector it starts and uh, reads it out, uh, reads the sector out and detokenizes the first, very first basic line. So in this case it's a sys instruction, again sys instruction, sys instructions. Um, this one is a little bit different. This one is a complete um, uh, basic um, uh, program, sys instruction again, a yeah, bunch of them, and this one. Uh, so it's usually this string that um, uh, coders and swappers and crackers back in the day used to put after their sys instruction that can give clues on uh, the exact content of the file. Uh, as very often uh, these files have have got the same name or a non-descriptive name. And some of that uh, logging is also displayed in the GUI, but it's a um, bit less um, verbose, if you wish. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.